G'day everyone, welcome to this lesson for Trapdoor by 21 Pilots. Now, I'm definitely going to get up to the drum solo. But I figured as long as we're here, we might as well break down the entire song. So let's get on the kit and start from the very beginning. We're in 6-8, but we're subdividing that into 16th notes on the hi-hats. So we have 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and... And we're playing a four bar loop for a large part of this song. It's the same loop, so grab it now and we'll definitely use it again. So in the intro, this is how it starts. The main change is that at the end of the fourth bar, every now and again the fill is a tiny bit different. So here's another version. When we kick into the verse, it feels like to me that we lose that 16th note feel on the hi-hats. So I'm just going to kind of scale that back, but it is underlying. So, you know, if you want to add some of those 16th notes in, or if you just want to keep playing them all the way through, that will still sound really cool but I'm just going to scale it back and only add a couple in here and there. So this is what that's going to sound like. There's a two bar groove up on the right cymbal with a little bit of toms as well. And that's right before the drums drop out into what you would call the chorus. At the end of that next section, we build up on snare drum and floor tom. And then we're just playing hi-hats. And again, you can kind of hear that 16th note feel, but I think we're only playing eighth notes just because right at the end, you can definitely hear a very clear 16th note. So anyway, I've written it like this, but again, you could play a few more notes if you want to. Then we're back into another verse using just the same grooves as we've already used. The big change for me is right before we drop out again, the fills are just a little bit different. So here, I pick them out. Then we're just reusing the same elements that we use for our chorus and then we get up to our bridge. So to start the bridge we've got this cool groove up on the ride cymbal, then we're going to go on to the hi-hats and then we are into the solo. So I'll start with the ride cymbal groove. And now the hi-hat part, it's really easy. And now we are up to the solo, which is really cool. The big thing that you want to lock in is your kick drum. We need to keep that going one, two, three, four, five, six. Because everything else over the top kind of either fills in the gap or is playing over the top of those kick drums a little bit as well. What I'm going to do is I'll play through each set of two bars twice, slowly, and then I'll try putting the whole thing together up to speed so you can hear what it sounds like. And then we've only got a couple of bars to look at just to get to the end of the song. So anyway, the first two bars of the solo sound like this.
Something I should point out as well is that some of the parts of the fill are definitely easier if you start them with your left hand. So for example, the very end of those first two bars, just when you need to smoothly move down the kit without getting your sticks mixed up. So just keep an eye out for that because that will definitely make this a little bit easier as well. Anyway, let me go on to the second two bars. Those two are probably the trickiest bars in the whole solo. You really want to try and grab that accent in the second bar on the snare drum. And I also have to say that the snare drum sound in this recording is really amazing. I think that's part of what makes this solo sound so great. Anyway, let me go on to the next set of two bars. So that wasn't too painful. The next lot. We got two to go and in this next slot the bass drum does change just a tiny bit at the end of the bar. And now the final lot of two bars. And there we go, we made it. Now I know that is gonna take you a lot of work just to get your head around it and get it up to scratch, but just pause the video wherever you need, take it two bars at a time, and if you're familiar with the song, I'm sure it will come together in no time. Anyway, let me try playing it up to speed. And for our final four bars, we're back up onto that ride cymbal groove, but we've got quite a few different fills going on, so let me break it down. There we go, that's Trapdoor by 21 Pilots, complete with a drum solo and everything. So I hope that's been super helpful and I hope you have fun with it and get it up and running. If you do a drum cover, send me the link, I'd love to check it out. Anyway guys, happy practicing and I'll catch you at the next lesson.